Welcome to another edition of Chaplain John with Chaplain John Sayers, featuring special reports and interviews with people doing kingdom ministry in Tulare County and beyond. And now, here's Chaplain John. Hey, we're back on my, this is my, my podcast, but my slash uh, YouTube, so you can catch this on both. And the theme I'm going at, I want to share about a book. And I know about the book because I personally know the author. And that's what we're going to deal with on this uh, this talk. Hey, um, by the way, if you want to view or hear any of my podcasts, you just go to chaplainchat.podomatic.com. That's chaplainchat.podomatic, spelled P-O-D-O-M-A-T-I-C. Dot com and you can see my podcast now on my YouTube uh, get into YouTube and all you have to do is put Chaplain John you'll see my picture and you can oh I've done over a thousand wow a thousand YouTube and you just have to see them all now you don't but that's how you get to my uh, YouTube well let's get into this uh, I said I know the author because the author is me uh, the book I want to review is the book I just wrote and some of you already have this book. It called, it's called The Church of Wherever You Go, There It Is. The Church of Wherever You Go, There It Is. Now, uh, I'm, gonna share, I'm not, um, not going to share every bit of the book, but I wanted to tell you about, first of all, why I even wrote the book. Um, so It wasn't for the money, by the way, because you can get it on Amazon if you, if you actually... Uh, go to Amazon and you type in that title, The Church of Wherever You Go, there it is. You're going to see it. You'll see my picture there, how to get it. Now, the book, the reason I didn't really do it for the money, the book is, uh, I priced the book at $7.99 and plus shipping, they say, plus shipping. And out of that $7.99, Amazon gets $5 and something. They get a big chunk of it. Um, because, well, and that's okay. I don't mind. They, they did a lot. They put the book together. They, give, they send a sample book out for us to proofread. And uh, it's worth it. And I get a, well, about $2 a book or something. And that's all right. I, I don't want to do all the work. They, they're doing all that. I have a good friend named Peter who's my editor. And, of course, Peter and my wife, Gil, were my proofreaders. And, and this is all, so much easier for me to do it this way. And so it wasn't for the money. And so then I had, then I said, well, did I do it because I want to be famous? Look at me. I wrote a book. Whoa. People, we all have a book. You've got a book. People, someone said, no, I don't. Yes, you do. We all have a story. And your story is just as good as anybody else's. Um, I was encouraged to share part of my story and I put it in a book. And so. And the reason I wasn't about me is because people have been getting back to me that have read the book. I've been getting some really good responses already. People that have bought the book, and again, you can get it on Amazon. But if you know me, please see me. If you live around here in Visalia, I, I can save you the ch shipping charge. You know? And I'm really not, hey, if you can't even afford it, I'll give the book to you. But, you know, if I sometimes if I can get at least five, six dollars for it, I can buy more books and give them out. Not in it for the money. But see me, okay, if you live around Visalia, Tulare County, whatever. If not, then you can get it on Amazon. But, but it wasn't even so I could be so famous because I've been getting great responses from it. One of the, some of the, I get this from my family, or those that people really know me. They say, John, I read your book, and it's an easy book. You can read, it's only like 95 pages or so. It's, it's not a big book. And you can read it in one or two settings. They, and they said, this is you. I'm seeing you in the book. Um, I have a family member that says, you have so much joy, John. And I see your joy in this book. Wow. I've had other people say to me, I have one person said, you know, I've read your book. And this is where the rubber meets the road for the Christian. I'm like, oh. I've had other people just share similar comments, what the book is meaning for them in their walk with God. That excites me. You see, uh, it, it's not about me. It's never been about me. It's about God's glory. And, and God is reinventing me so I can share his glory another way. And that's writing a book. I got a children's story. I'll talk about that down the road um, that I'm working on. Uh, but 
But this book, let's talk about this book for a minute. Now, when you get the book on the back of it, it's really kind of nice, uh, the cover and everything. And Peter did the uh, cover for me. That's the cover. But uh, Peter, my editor, my friend, wrote this on the back of the book. Oh, and there's a picture of me. Whoa. Uh, here's what he said. I like this. This is what he said. He sings, he dances, he also preaches. John Sayers, pastor, jail chaplain, and all-around evangelist, describes the many amazing, wild, sometimes wacky ways the Lord has opened up doors for him to share the gospel with others. Whether it's dancing at the gym, playing a jazz jam session, comforting others at the hospital, being an encourager at the rescue mission, or even reaching out through social media, Sears takes us on an amazing, amusing roller coaster ride through the many churches he has found that provide great spiritual lessons for all of us and could be your future ministry in God's kingdom. Wow, well, cool thing what he said at the back. Now, in the book, um, um, let me just, I, I want to share with you really quick the chapters. There's uh, uh, 12 chapters counting the epilogue. And, um, and I'm going to review these and others. Not, I just want to do one more thing. I want to read the epilogue or the intro to do this. But um, so there's the intro and I'll read that later. First chapter is called the Camp Church. The second chapter is called the Rescue Mission Church. Then you have the Jail Church. That's the biggest chapter. Got some great um, stories to share with you how that was a church. The Hospital Church. The first church at Danny's. Now, I have to say, I have to chuckle about this. And we're, I was going to call this the first church at Denny's, but Peter said, well, we better be careful, copyright laws. So we're calling it the first church of Danny's and how I, I really see God there, too. Um, the, the Jazz Jam Church. I go to something called Cup of Jazz, and you can read about that. Uh, the Recovery Church. The uh, Portable Church. Church that moves around. Uh, the social media church. And um, I have a chapter, I was going to call it the Zumba church, because I Zumba. But uh, again, we weren't sure about copyright laws, so we're calling it the dancing church. And the last chapter is called the church church, because the church that we go to on Sunday, sometimes that is, that's also the church. And then I have the epilogue. And I'm not sure, you know, maybe I might go a chapter, there's no, or I might combine some chapters on this. We'll see how it goes. Short series. I didn't want to do a long thing on it. But let me read to you the uh, the epilogue uh, or the uh, introduction. Not the epilogue. I'm sorry. The introduction of this. The epilogue is the end, isn't it? And uh, so introduction. And I'm going to want to read this to you. Um, and this comes right from the book. But I'm not going to read everything out of the book. Maybe highlights in the book. All right. Here it goes. Um, let them praise his name with dancing, Psalms 149, verse 3, NIV. I could have called this book the Dancing Church after that po popular uh, musical exercise that starts with a Z. <laughs> I can rather go on say Zumba. Um, the subtitle would have been God Meets Us Where We Are, which will be the ongoing thought of this book. Oh, the subtitle, that's God Meets Us. Yeah, God Meets Us. All right. Ken Minema, a blind singer, has always been one of my favorite Christian musical artists. He has a wonderful song, She Asked Me to Dance. You can watch and hear him sing it on YouTube, if you'd like. I have heard it said that, and or maybe I've said that, if you don't like to laugh, well, you may want to steer clear of heaven. Um, I think that could, I think, that's how I think dancing gives joy in life. I've always liked to dance. Maybe I could say I've always liked to bounce around um, when dancing, which might describe my way of dance. In my life, I could dance at many different types of churches. My hope in this book, The Church of Wherever You Go, There It Is, is to share some of the many ways God has opened the, up the door for me to have freedom to dance and express myself in and out of the box. My hope is that wherever the church you belong to or whatever doors the Lord opens up for you, God will lead you to minister to others. 
doing this in this way, God has uniquely wired you with a special collection of talents you have that you will be truly make, make a difference in the world. If you cannot relate to some of the churches I mentioned, I hope by reading this will trigger some memories of places where you come alive and hopefully help you to rekindle that heavenly flame to bring your unique ministry to life. Right from the get-go, I'm not saying that the church we go to on Sunday, which may own a building, is wrong. My last cha chapter is called, Sometimes the Church is the Church. In, that, in this chapter, we'll see the ways which people are dancing in, in tune with God, God's will for them, or maybe not dancing in tune with God's will for them. One more thing. Every now and then, I will do something I call putting on the pastor's hat. Put that bull print. It will be my time to share a little more of how the church, wherever you go, there it is, relates to us today in our own church. Hopefully, this will give us a wake-up call so we can really seek the Lord's will in our lives using the talents we were gifted by God. Let this introduction be my invitation to you to come to the church wherever you go, there it is. And we will dance together as the Lord opens up some amazing and sometimes even weird, unusual doors so to share the good news of the gospel wherever we go. That is the introduction to the book. And next week, I'm going to start with chapter one. I want to talk about the camp church. And uh, that's where we're going. Well, today, I, if you have the book, follow along with me on this series. If you want to get the book, if you live around here, see me. As soon as you get the seat, call me, you know, or get a hold of me. You know, email me, JN Sayers. 667 at gmail.com. Get a hold of me, connect with me, and I'll get you the book. No shipping costs. Or if you want to go online, you can get it from Amazon. And this is the book. I'm, I'm kind of excited because I know the author and I know the book. And I really am finding out that the, the book has and will give glory to God. Hope you read it. God bless you.